Art and history buffs will have a rare opportunity to see American artist Jacob Lawrence's entire vision of the Great Migration, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. For the first time in 20 years, each of his 60 panels detailing the mass movement of 6 million African Americans from the rural south to the urban north will be on display together in the same place. Lawrence's landmark series is part of a new exhibition called One Way Ticket, Jacob Lawrence's migration series and other visions of the Great Movement North. The centerpiece, the very heart of the show, is Jacob Lawrence's migration series, which he made in 1941 when he was just 23 years old. Lawrence was the son of migrants and called New York City's Harlem neighborhood home. It was there he would hone his art. Shortly after Lawrence completed his migration series, the 60-panel series was split apart. Half was acquired by the MoMA in New York, the other half was acquired by the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C. Lawrence's migration series details in bold color poverty and the promise of a better future the North held for millions of African Americans fleeing the South. Scenes of life and death, work, home life and hardships are shown in full bursts of color. One of the things that I want people to do when they come to the exhibit is to see what an incredible work the migration series is, that it touches on different emotional tonalities between scenes of great tenderness and intimacy and scenes of terror and violence that all throughout the subjects that, he, that, that, that Lawrence portrays, the figures he portrays, act with a kind of quiet dignity in the face of what is a very difficult journey from the south to the north. The exhibition at the MoMA coincides with the centennial anniversary of the start of the mass migration. The, the, the Great Migration was, had a huge demographic impact. It's one of the biggest demographic events in the United States history. It's six million black Americans coming from the rural south to the urban north between 1915 and 1970s. So that is a transformative um, phenomenon. And it changes the social geography of our country, it changes our cities, it changes the food we eat, it changes our economies. And I wanted this exhibition to focus on what the migration did in transforming American culture, that it brought southern sounds up and southern music and southern sermons and southern cadences and speech and integrated them into a modern urban American culture and out of that came blues and out of that came jazz and out of that came scores of new genres and landmark works and I think that if you bring all of this together into one space you get a sense of what the, this terrain is, what, how it serves as a crucible for much of what we think of as modern American culture today. The exhibition also offers other artistic accounts of the movement, including novels and poems by celebrated authors such as Langston Hughes and Richard Wright. Music from Duke Ellington is explored. Also included is a rare videotaped performance of Billie Holiday singing Strange Fruit, her gut-wrenching song detailing a lynching. One of the things that museums can do, can best do, is to bring people into different conversations and into different moments in time and to test their thinking against these other ways of thinking and perhaps be transformed by them a little bit. And I think it's very powerful to look at Lawrence's concerns and think how they reflect on our own present day. A series of black and white photographs of families on the move are also displayed. One Way Ticket, Jacob Lawrence's Migration Series and other visions of the Great Movement North will open to the public on the 3rd of April and will run until the 7th of September 2015.